Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and I just wanted to talk about the um, solar eclipse that's coming up on April 8th. So the reason we talk about the solar eclipse on this channel, on the Shortwave Radio Channel, is because of the propagation that could actually come out of this. And the reason is, you know that day and night patterns exist on shortwave radio. And that is due to the sun being there to, of course, uh, increase the ionization of uh, the ionosphere. And, of course, nighttime patterns change because the sun isn't there. And that means that there will be changes in propagation patterns across this path. And even if you're not in the path of the solar eclipse, the path around it where, you know, will be illuminated at, you know, like 90%, 80% is still blocking enough that there could be some propagation changes. So um, I will be watching the eclipse. Montreal is at uh, solar max, um, at, at the maximum eclipse. Um, I'll be actually going to the south shore of Montreal to get a little more out of the eclipse, about a, a 30 seconds to 45 seconds more, again, about a good two minutes. So here is going to be totality, and of course uh, some of you will be in the path of totality here. Um, bring a radio with you if you're going to watch the eclipse, and tune around, shortwave, check for changes in propagation, but particularly medium wave through the pad here it's going to be interesting for those that are very close to solar to the uh, eclipse maximum eclipse there could be a momentary moment uh, like time where the medium wave band wakes up a little more to bring us some of the stations we might not hear during the daytime because they're all be they're all going to be at maximum power since it's a daytime and so it might actually give you an opportunity to hear a station that you never heard before, thanks to the fact that it's on daytime pattern. But definitely, there could be some interesting changes in the propagation to observe here. So um, whether you're observing the eclipse, if it's cloudy, well, you know, because uh, I'm hoping it's going to be sunny. But if Montreal's clouded out, of course, the thing I will be doing is then... Um, looking at it through the radio and be looking at what propagation brings us during the eclipse. So there could be some changes, both on shortwave and also on a medium wave band. Um, the path isn't that wide, so I don't expect, you know, like big drops in shortwave because the uh, sun will still be there, you know, not that far off each side. But there could still be on the lower frequency some enhanced propagation and things are going to change. So, um, and like I said, medium wave, long wave could be an interesting thing to look at. So put that on your calendar. April the 8th, 2024. Uh, changes in propagation for the solar eclipse coming up. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.